Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Um, so this is really exciting. Uh, my name is Josh Khan. I'm coming to you live from Baltimore. So today we have a really special program uh, with an artist visiting us from the Fendika Cultural Center all the way in Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia. Today we have the great, great, great privilege of meeting with a truly special dancer in person. He's sometimes called the walking earthquake um, for his virtuosic dancing, and his name is Malaku Bele. Um, Malaku is an ambassador for many of Ethiopia's distinctive cultural practices, and he runs the Fendiga Cultural Center, where traditional music and dance is preserved and celebrated. Thank you very much. Really, I'm very happy and uh, to attend this program and uh, happy uh, dance day, especially dance day today, World Dance Day. Ethiopian dance from the, the heart, face to face, uh, you are closely, but at the same time, discipline, distance. You don't touch each other. From the heart, connection, from your heart and to connect, not really uh, uh, touch each other. You are an spirit together, but still discipline and the heart connecting. So because the rhythm come from inside, you take, I take energy from the earth coming in my spinal cord, like the chest. <laughs> Or vibrate, neck. Or a, a chicken dance, we call it, yo, look. Chicken drink water, and after. The sounds that you're making when you're dancing, like especially the deep guttural sounds, um, are they yeah. traditional um, or are they unique? Are they an improvisation that different dancers can do and just create in the moment? Oh, traditional. Uh -huh. It's uh, because, you know, the, the in countryside, no electric city or no sound system, no band. Uh -huh. So they are creative with the body, with the sound, with the lung and uh, also uh, if you go Gurage area <laughs> mouse to mouse in front of the they did <laughs> every Sunday they have a social life they go together with a, a homemade beer and they drink and after you know joyful after work every Sunday they dance with that so there is no in instrument with hand clap and also like this or like this they create movement or they touch the earth connect they make a rhythm and they have a drum of course the sound <laughs> so this is the traditional this is the traditional this sound in the town not really use it countryside so they accompany themselves and it's part of the movement the rhythm and the percussion of the movement and the sounds that you're making all are creating the, the sounds that you're dancing to. It, beautiful. Thank you. I, um, at the Fendiga Cultural Center, you would have grass on the floor. Yeah, grass is uh, fresh. Uh, also celebration, uh, the celebration uh, sign. And when is example Easter coming? Uh, coming Sunday is our Easter in Ethiopia is uh, Orthodox church uh, when the fasting is finished and every house is celebration grasses uh, come mostly with the coffee ceremony with the holiday and welcoming uh, good wishing in the future collaboration um when you collaborate with and you collaborate with musicians all over the world um and you've traveled all over the world when you collaborate with other musicians does it change the way you dance and how you consider your movement practice? We exchange and uh, uh, meditate each other and put extra energy uh, that way. I feel uh, because I love the energy take and I give back. So with that kind of exchange, I learn also a lot of technique from, uh, of course, from jazz, uh, heavy metal, flamenco and uh, contemporary. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Travel is uh, will show you a lot of different culture, big with big respect, and uh, I learn a lot from that. And uh, but uh, for myself, is uh, open 
changing me to have an uh, open mind to learn things uh, uh, to really, I'm small, become a lot of to learn, a lot of to see things. So I changing me a good way, yeah. Um, for the dancers who are watching this, thinking about um, how you use tr your traditional culture and dance and you use that energy and you give to others in a respectful way um, to lift them up, I think is a beautiful way to think about one's own movement practice. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, example in a movie is a woman, as you see her, she's uh -huh. starting, she starting in Fandika uh, 12 years ago as a cleaner and as a waiter. She's the one now who studied dance here. She found her talent in Fandika. She dances now traveling with me all over. Yeah, it's, uh, I love to give a space and it's not me, 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 me. And without them, I'm nothing. And uh, one hand is not clive. Uh, yeah. You know, you need friction. So yeah, you are right. Uh, we dance each other also behind the instrument and in front of the audience. And so 360 degree, we see each other and to connect 